Hi again folks and hope you're having a great time. Um, today Saturday the 22nd, is that right? 22nd? Yeah, 22nd of March. Um, just doing a few little jobs, trying to get my coal frame, like I think I talked spoke about last time. Um, trying to get that fixed uh, because of the frost tonight. Um, to try to get it fixed. I'm going to try and use a tea lighter inside it just to keep hopefully keep the frost off and that as things have started uh, and give you just a little update so here we go so here we are inside the shed the bottom of the garden next to the greenhouse um, here we have is my shallots as you can see again a few more are starting to appear not very fast mind you but starting to appear. these are zebrun type um, Dan from up in Yorkshire who does the allotment diary he suggested them um, to to plant them from seed, that he said, he said they were like an elephant type shallot, and he got absolutely massive shallots from them. So, we're trying them here. Yeah, I'm going to cover them tonight in some um, bubble wrap just to hopefully give them a little bit more protection because it's meant to be cold over the next few nights up here in Leicestershire. So, yeah, over here, I showed you before my paper pots that were from my parsnips. Um, I've got to say, they're an utter failure utter failure I opened a few up just to see if anything was happening and after three weeks nothing has germinated whatsoever and even though you can see the onions and I've got stuff in my greenhouse that have actually germinated so I think the paper pot exercise rubbish so we're going to try pre-chitting them as I've heard before um, sort of taking them out putting them on uh, putting out a sheet of kitchen roll putting the seeds on it, damping, well, on a damp piece of kitchen roll, putting another sheet on top, put them inside the kitchen till they just start, just ever so start, as soon as they start getting them in the ground, because as we know, parsnips and carrots, those sort of root ones, don't like their roots getting disturbed. So that is it. that's the idea that we're going to try. Um, so hopefully I'll give you an update on that later on in this video. Um, what I've done also is hidden underneath here, let's see this is my bubble wrap I'm going to shove on top of the shallots. Underneath here is my onions, showed you them last time. Um, oh, one of my clips broke and it's falling inside there. Let's just get rid of that. Uh, so I popped that sort of uh, plastic over there just to give it an extra protection tonight in case it gets too cold. So let's go outside and just show you what else we've been up to. Um, we now have the irrigation system all in place. So let me just take you down here. Here it is. That pipe comes from the bot uh, the next to the house, it pops, that comes down. I've got a splitter there so I can have a, a hose on its own to fill up the tomatoes if inside the greenhouse. And we've got a timer, so we did a test of it. Um, what I've got to say is that the four-way sort of sp uh, pipe splitters are not, are, seem to be slightly narrower than the pipe. So even though you use the clips that are designed to go with it, it um, it doesn't stop any water escaping so when I tested it it started gushing out so um, I'm going to get some Jubilee clips and put them on the ones that are not so so great but it's all completed we did a test apart from the gushing bits at, at those ones that need the Jubilee clips everything else huh, the drips there what I've also done is um, if we come down here this is just a temporary one in here this is a this was to convert the, the pipe the main supply pipe oh sorry Helps if I don't put my finger in the way. Uh, I mean, supply pipe down to a smaller one because I've got a small drip one as well. So I've got, got two of them. So I've got one also in the greenhouse, I'll show you in a minute. Uh, let me just show you blueberries coming up, okay. Garlic progressing. Lost, only lost one so far. All the rest seems fairly alright. Tips sort of yellowish. Don't know if that's just how damp it's been. Uh, this is my tea berry. So this is my tea berry here. So it seems to be really going for it. Let's come around here. This is my raspberry. It's an autumn fruiting one. So as you can see, they're all really going for it at the moment. As you can, as you can see. Yeah. Let's head down to the greenhouse. As you can see, I've been buying more compost ready for potatoes. Uh, let's come in here. As you've seen me, strawberries 
timber protection bit to keep them ready for going outside. Um, you can see this is a big box that I've built for the bottom of my cold frame. Let's just go inside. As you can see here, here I've got my tea light on top of my brick. Try to try and just keep it semi warm during the night at the moment. Good news is that the sweet has started. Let me just hold. Yeah, as you can see, it's just there. And as you can see, when I go to another one, you can just see they're just starting there. And nothing much else has started in here, so as I say, uh, I'll put my tea lighter on later, and that will hopefully just keep it warm enough. Hi again folks, um, it's getting late into the evening, um, about half eight-ish on the Saturday. Um, uh, as I spe spoke before, um, I'm going to pre-chit my parsnip seed. So all I've done here is, um, let me just, it's just a normal dinner plate. I've taken one out of the cupboard that's probably lower down, which the wife's not probably going to use, so, so I don't get into trouble. Um, all I've done is put two sheets of... Um, kitchen roll, a decent quality one to be honest with you, so it absorb a lot of the water. So all I've done here is I trimmed it so that it wasn't too overlapping too much um, and put some water on it, licked it on so the whole sheet's now there. What I'm going to do is i um, going to sprinkle the parsnip seeds onto it, then I'll cover it in cling film. You can see the seeds now being sprinkled over. Um, got a bit of an emergency now because I've got no cling film. I've got plenty of tin foil and spruce paper but no cling film so since it's late in the evening and the little lads asleep upstairs um, uh, and I'm on my own um, I'll need to get some cling film tomorrow now so in the meantime I've just taken some sandwich bags there I think there's three there and I'm just going to lay over them so to try and reduce the moisture loss. Uh, until I get some cling film tomorrow. Now, now, as you can see, these are the bags over, the sandwich bags over this, just to try and keep the moisture in. Um, hopefully tomorrow, when I get cling film, I'll show you what it looks like with the cling film on. Over the winter, um, I lost some of my capillary matting to either a, a rat or a mouse that seemed to want to chew it up and make a little bed out. Never did find the mouse or the rat. But it did, there was soulstone remaining, but because of the chance of there being rat or mouse uh, urine or anything like that on them, I decided just to bin them. Um, I use them for, I have sort of an auto watering thing. You put the grow, grow bag straight onto these spikes uh, and the capillary matting goes into the compost and then feeds from the reservoir below it. Um, it's a hose lock uh, type one. Um, so I've still got three, I need another four, and um, these are the, I'll show you the ones, these are the ones there that I use. Not quite as long as that, but no, it's not a major issue because it goes anyway. So what I'm just going to do is cut this into, cut four new ones out of this. It'll work roughly four into that. So we'll get them and then we'll get them fitted um, probably tomorrow. Folks, it's now Sunday the 23rd of March. Just another update as you can see, the weather's absolutely terrible now compared to yesterday. Uh, hail, rain, wind, so but there's some blue sky on the horizon so I might wait because I was hoping to get some seven of some compost done. So just so I'm going to just putter about inside the shed, I bought some, uh, some more tea lighters here. Um, some terracotta pots to put them in. Uh, sorry, because they'll, they'll go like that. I'll have, let me just try and move some stuff out of it. So, imagine that's a brick. Imagine, imagine that's a brick. You put tea lighter there, light it, and then pop that on top like that. It means that you get lots of heat contained inside there. Uh, what I found out last night was that the uh, it must have been the cold got to the very edges of the tea lighters and stopped it actually melting. So I, I don't think I got a full eight, nine hours out of the 
the tail lighters that it uh, controls. See how well this is. These are frost, frost resistant, and I'm assuming that to a certain degree heat resistant. So we'll see how they do. Hi again, folks. Late in the afternoon, just sort of finishing up for the day. Um, on the Sunday, all I've done really today was I've sieved 125 litres of BQ compost. Um, there, uh, we used the, the middle sieve. Um, uh, as you can see there, well, there's Gregor flying, flying past, pretending to be a car. Um, uh, other thing I've done is I've put from the irrigation system. Um, I found some of the connectors that were supplied, extra connectors I needed. Um, they supplied didn't seem to grip strong enough. A lot of the ones were originally in the, the kit itself, which was for a 50 meter drip line system in the connectors and that I found that there were double barbs actually on the connector so when you've done it you got a really good grip whereas the ones this the ones that they then send when I needed the extra ones were single barbs which I'm not really pleased about so you can see uh, what um, I had to buy some what they call hose clips uh, jubilee clips um, uh, onto Put them onto the bits that were actually leaking because, as we found out, it was starting to leaking. Um, all I've done is pop the um, shallots and leaks down here to, for tonight because I'm actually meant to get very cold tonight. I'm going to put some um, bubble wrap on top. Um, uh, what I've also got is uh, just watch out there, Lord Gregor. Um, we've got some tea lighters, new tea lighters as well. No. I uh, showed you earlier, I've got going to put them in sort of uh, terracotta pots uh, so that we try and keep the frost off the plants because the... Hello guys! <laughs> there, there's Gregor, just popping his head in. I thought you were being a car. I don't know, but my, my car's broken. Right, alright, you go and drive your car when I finish off the video. Um, no. Uh, there's, um, we've got uh, squash and mm. sweet and that all sort of growing in the in the cold frame oh, so um been there um and that's sort of about it for this week um hopefully um next weekend get the onions hopefully get the onions planted i'll just take it around they've not moved they're still here as you can see my fruit garter onions here you know they've been the odd one or two like that when that sort of rotted as you can see uh, but that's the you know putting them in the air make sure that air gets around them and much as possible and don't doesn't same with me red barren um and i've got me as you can see now the, the potato swift variety are really getting chitting on so hopefully i'll get them done next weekend as well so that's that's about it from me and from from gregor um bye we, we, bye. we both hope we have it hope everyone's having a, a good weekend uh, and a fruitful day on the in the garden or an allotment and we'll see you next time bye, bye just now.